Christmas is fast approaching. That means millions of people are going to be burning through their savings, lining up just to get their hands on the latest technology, completely oblivious to the fact that they are actually paying to have their private conversations recorded and shared with third parties. Take the new Samsung Smart TV. The amount of data that this thing collects is staggering. Just say what you want. Find this action adventure. It logs where, when, how and for how long you use the TV. It sets tracking cookies and beacons designed to detect when you have viewed particular content or a particular email message. It records the apps you use, the websites you visit, and how you interact with content. And it, of course, has a built-in camera and microphone with facial and voice recognition for your convenience. But Samsung's new global privacy policy for its line of smart TVs comes with a rather ominous warning. Please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data that's captured and transmitted to a third party. In other words, don't say anything private in front of your television. They've been watching it. Now, writing about the privacy policy for Salon.com, Michael Price writes, I do not doubt that this data is important to providing customized content and convenience, but it's also incredibly personal, constitutionally protected information that should not be for sale to advertisers and should require a warrant for law enforcement to access. There's no need for the FBI to bug your living room. You'll do it yourself. In two years' time, the stuff that this Samsung TV can do will be old news. What's wrong? Let's say you're having a fight with your spouse in front of your television. Well, that camera and microphone that's been surreptitiously recording all of your private conversations and scanning your body language can now send that information to third-party advertisers so that they can air a perfectly timed commercial suggesting some SSRIs. For them, it's all about targeted advertising. But for the surveillance apparatus, it's about complete information control. Its primary intention is to transmit data. It receives data from smart appliances, which will be in your home, so that they can you know, then immediately push back to you what they feel that you need in that moment for advertising purposes. It's, it's not giving us more control. It's actually giving the control to big corporations, to, to utilities, and to governments who will be sharing in this data that is basically being extracted uh, from the home in a very, very high level of detail. All of this spying is documented. It's been going on for decades. And now people are just buying into the idea that they need all of these new smart appliances to save the earth and save on energy bills. When in reality, these devices are ushering in a new era of total surveillance bondage. Lining up to buy their crap is helping to construct the Panopticon. What's wrong? I need something stronger. Take four red capsules. In ten minutes, take two more. Help is on the way.